So good afternoon at Apex. Decided to treat myself. Bought myself my favourite and the most practical supercar you can buy. Values of these are only going one way. So buy it and ruin so my day. What I've bought here is a Porsche 911 Turbo 997 model. Now this is a genu generation two car with the PDK Porsche dual clutch system with the better gearbox. When this, this is an early Gen 2 car, the Turbo S model wasn't available when this car came out. So this car was specced as a demo car by a Porsche dealer to be Turbo S spec. It is a Turbo S, although the Turbo S didn't come out to the 10, as in it's running the factory 530 brake power upgrade. It's got the ceramic brakes, as you can see, which I'll show you in a minute, and a lot of other options. Now the extras and options on this car are just mind blowing. Um, the second owner of the car, who's had the car for years, was a director of a major motoring engineering company that makes high performance car parts and it's quite clearly been treasured. When I saw this car and I saw the spec, I had to buy it. I mean, I love Porsche turbos. The thing with the Porsche turbos, right you can buy a Ferrari, you can buy a Lamborghini and they're fragile and they break and they're not made properly. But if you buy a German car, they're made and they work and it just everything's right with it now this car here has got the upgraded center lock wheels which are fitted to a turbo s it's got the yellow calipers with the ceramic brake discs which give you the better brakes massive massive cost option but you're the stopping power that you need we've got coming to the back the optional rear wiper obviously it's fitted with parking sensors as you can see and it's got the adjustable rear spoiler it's actually been badged as a Turbo S because, as I say, for all intents and purposes, it is a Turbo S, although that model wasn't released till 2010. Now, the car's got the factory 530 brake upgrade to take it to Turbo S power. And look at it, it's beautiful. It's finished in GT Silver, which is a rare colour option and one that I like. Now, coming inside, it's got the interior carbon packs. You can see carbon on the door trims and things like that. We've got the Bose sound system. These seats, I don't know if this does them justice, these are the factory racing seats. Now, they're a crazy amount of money extra, and they've got the carbon hard backs on the rear as well. These will have been a stupid amount of money, but look at them, they're amazing. Get inside the car, we've got the extra carbon vents, carbon here, carbon sensor console, carbon handbrake. We've got Alcantara around the gear selector. We've got the PDK dual clutch uh, Tiptronic box. The dual clutch just makes seamless trans transfers. It's amazing. Sorry, excuse me. It's amazing. It's just the spec of this car. We've got the multifunction wheel. We've got paddles on the back of the wheel. We've got the lap timer up here. It's got the upgraded generation two nav system with touch screen. It's wonderful. And all this carbon and the sport seats, silver seat belts. I mean, it's just a tremendous car. Really, really mind blowing. As I said, the price of these cars is only rising. They're only going up in value. So if you buy it, potentially it's an investment too. I mean, this is just the pinnacle. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm biased. I love Porsche turbos. I've got three more at home, but the Gen 1's not a Gen 2 and this car, it's, it's crazy. Beautiful, beautiful car. We've got the sports exhaust as well. Now, new 911s, they've dropped the flat six engine in favor of smaller four cylinder turbos. And do you know what? Something about a 911, it should have that engine. It's supposed to make that noise and the new ones don't. This is the last of an era. This is, it's the pinnacle. It's the best that they ever got. So. If you're going to buy it, and if you're going to ruin my day, get in touch. I'll sell it to you, reluctantly. <laughs> it's for sale. Everything is. And uh, we'll chat soon. See you soon. Bye-bye.